Hey everybody, this is Greg Gossett from Gossett Trading and Mentoring. Today's Monday, August 5th, 2024. Hey, how you doing? Boy, what a day in the market, huh? Boy, this is one day to remember. I hope you did okay. I hope you're staying safe out there. And uh, I appreciate you coming to watch this video. Uh, I had a really good short uh, intraday trade on VIX today. Um, and it is one of those trades uh, very similar setup to the ones I showed you last week. Again, these are not the same trade. They look the same um, uh, in what they do when they go down, but these are all different trade. And it just goes to show you the power of when you change market structure, uh, you reverse from bearish to, to bullish and bullish to bearish. So I'll go through this, show you what I did, show you what my thinking was when I, when I took the trade. And I hope it's going to be helpful. And if it is helpful to you or you find some value in it, I really would appreciate if you could hit the thumbs up button. And then after this, uh, after I show you the short VIX trade, I'm gonna show you one of the swing trades that I entered today at the end of the day and why. But let's first get to the VIX. Again, VIX five minute. Uh, what I'm looking for is a structure break. And I look at two different things for that. One, I look for a break of a trend line. Two points, two swing lows. Here's the bottom swing low. Here's the second swing low. Once we break that trend line to the downside, the way that I look at this, it breaks the structure from an uptrend to a downtrend. Also, the other thing that happened is if you see this swing low here, which is tied into the trend line, this bar breaks it and goes below this. This also is another factor to tell you that you have broken structure to the downside. So, when you're in an uptrend and then you break structure to the downside, very often you're gonna have a little bit of a counter rally before you have a leg down. If you look at it the other way, if you're in a downtrend and then you break structure to the upside, almost not all the time, but very often when you break that structure and finally go into an uptrend, you'll have an immediate counter trend move back down. And those are the ones that I wanna buy to have a leg up. So, okay, again, we have the trend line, we broke it. That's one thing that tells me market structure is broken. We make a high, pull back, higher high, take out this swing low. This also tells me, it's the second factor to tell me that we're changing structure to the downside. You can see the red box I have here. What is this? This is the highest up bar before the break of market structure. When you come back into that bar, it's called a bearish order block. I know it doesn't look bearish because it's up, but when I get back to anywhere in this red area here, that's a shortable area. I decided to go on this bar when we got halfway of this down bar here. So I got short here, 84.80. Now, as soon as I get short, I have two stops. First of all, I place in my emergency stop two ATRs above my entry. I'm only gonna hit this stop about 5% of the time. But if I do, I'm immediately out. I don't wait for the close of the bar. And I know exactly how much money I've, I've lost. So, but exactly, uh, I mean, uh, only about 5% of the time I'm gonna hit this. 95% of the time, if I have a losing trade, it's gonna be a close above my end of bar stop. So this is my emergency stop, two ATRs above. My end of bar stop is a close above this swing high, because if we close above this swing high, then we're back into a bullish market structure. Makes sense? Okay, so I have a two ATR profit, uh, I'm sorry, two ATR emergency stop. I want to ha have my profit target be twice that, so four ATRs to the downside. So one of four things is gonna happen. One, I'm gonna hit my emergency stop. That's worst case scenario. Second, I'm gonna hit my end of bar stop. That's second worst case scenario. Third, I'm gonna end the day and it's not gonna have hit anything. And then number four, I'm gonna hit my profit target, which is twice my emergency stop. So that's exactly what happened and it was a nice, easy trade. Again, broke market structure in two different ways, rallied back up into the bearish order block, and then a nice, easy move down. This was a really, really great trade. 
12.51%. Can you imagine? And uh, didn't quite get the bottom, didn't need to. Uh, so anyway, I, I hope that was helpful. And let me show you, um, oh, my phone's ringing. Let me show you the trade that I made today, that I added a new trade. Where is my trade, everybody? Here we go, Qs. This is on the daily. So this is a deep dip buy. And why did I buy this? Well, I like to buy setups that have multiple confluences or setups. This had three of them, deep dip buy. One, we went under the 30 RSI and closed above the 30 RSI. That by itself, legit. Number two, we went intraday, we went below the 200 day, closed back above. That's legit. And now we have two, which is better than one. Also, I have this long-term trend line here that during the day, we went below it, but we were able to recover the trend line at the end of the day, which is really important. So it was a confluence of signals. Intraday rejection of the 30 RSI, intraday rejection of the 200 SMA, intraday rejection of the uh, long-term trend line. So I entered today 435.60. Now, same with the intraday trades, I placed my emergency stop two ATRs below, and my end of day stop is simply going to be a close below the 200 day moving average. I have the line up here, 1.5 ATRs. Once I get up to there, then I go into trailing stop mode, but I'm not gonna go into this, into that in this video. If you'd like to learn more about that and how I manage the entire trade of all the open trades that I have, I have a, uh, a YouTube um, uh, podcast on the weekends. It's called Gossip Trading and Mentoring Weekend Review. I go through all the swing trades that I took in the, in the previous week, when I entered, why I entered, what were the confluences, where did I place my stops, how I'm gonna manage the trade, and then you can see how all of my trades are playing out. So I think that would be really helpful for you and it's it's about an hour, so I have a lot more time to get into other into all the details. So I think that'll be helpful if you watch that. Watch, watch last weekend's, I think it was really good. Um, also, if you're interested, I do teach private one-on-one -on -one lessons in the evening time. I have taught students all over the world um, I teach all the different uh, strategies that I use step by step so that my student really learns them. We practice them. We do all sorts of simulations. And when you're done with this course, I promise you, you will be a better trader and you'll have a lot of great skills. I've taught people from all the way from absolute beginners all the way to hedge fund managers, like I said, all over the world. The course is great. It's an investment in your in, in, in learning a new skill. But if you're interested, my email is in the link at the description. Usually if someone writes me and says I'm interested in the course, I like to have a, a free Skype call with them just to get to know them better, learn what you know they're looking for, what their trading challenges are, what their goals are, and then it's a good time for them to ask to ask me about the format and the syllabus of the course. And it's totally free. And when we're done with the call, um, you know, and you want to take the course, you have to get back in contact with me, right? There's never any, never any pressure. So my emails uh, in the link of the description, send me an email and we get the, the process started. And then lastly, I do have a really good online course available at udemy.com. Uh, I teach you the deep dip buy approach, which is exactly uh, uh, the trade I took today is a deep dip buy here and uh, super affordable. It's somewhere between 30 and $50 but it is nine and a half hours of instruction. And um, uh, I've sold so many of them around the world and uh, I've had so many, so much good feedback, so many good reviews. So if you're interested, the link to the Udemy course is in the description. So anyway, uh, yeah, b real big, crazy day, everybody. Make sure that you have your plan, your process, and you follow it. If you have any questions about this podcast or the trades that I highlighted here, just let me know. Okay, all right. All right, hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for your time. Appreciate you being here. Bye-bye. U.S. government required disclaimer. Stock, options, futures, and Forex trading is not appropriate for everyone. While there is a potential for large rewards, there is also a substantial risk of loss associated with trading. 
The material in this video or live broadcast is not geared towards any particular individual or to any particular financial situation and is not intended to meet the particular investment objectives of any viewer. This video or live broadcast, like all instructional materials produced by Gossett Trading and Mentoring LLC, is created and published for informational and educational purposes only. Any and all information contained in, implied, or referenced by this video or live broadcast is not to be construed as investment advice and no representation is made that any individual or entity involved in production of this video or live broadcast is an investment or financial advisor or is registered or authorized to give any financial advice. We are publishers and educators only. Therefore, the various producers of this video or live broadcast will not accept liability for any loss or damage of any kind which may arise either directly or indirectly out of the use of any of this material, including any loss of profit. No representation is made that any account or investment will or is likely to achieve the profit or losses demonstrated. We recommend consultation with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision. This video or live broadcast is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell any security, financial instrument, or financial product of any kind. Notice is hereby given that any individual or entity involved in production of this video or live broadcast or their clients may have an interest in any security, financial instrument, or financial product mentioned or referenced. Any simulated or hypothetical performance Result depicted does not represent actual trading and therefore may under or overcompensate for the impact of various market factors such as lack of liquidity. Thank you.